Inspired look requested by Crusade by Craft Crusade. Make sure y'all go check her out. I'll leave her link down below. Send me a picture of a Grinch inspired look where it has like his hand coming off the little ball. I don't know how to go with that. But I can't do a Grinch inspired look. So I'm going to use the Heather Austin palette right here. This is from Adapt Cosmetics. Y'all look how gorgeous. Like these greens right here. Just call it to me. Like Heather Austin, she's such a beautiful, inspired uh, makeup lover, enthusiast. And she literally gives hope to us little creators because she started off as a smaller creator. It did take her a little bit to jump off, but boy, when she jumped off, she jumped off, nose dived into it. And I'm so proud to sit back and have watched her grow over the years. And it just shows that, you know, with being consistent and putting in that work, it does pay off in the long run. And if it's something you're really passionate about and you want to do, you need to just keep doing it and keep going forward. Don't let nothing hold you back. Because legit, like last year, she was like at 7,000. Like, she has soared. Soared. And I've got to wash brushes next. Because I'm literally getting down to the nitty gritty of my brushes. And that's never good. And usually when this gets full, it's time to wash brushes. And this was full. Because then I have all my favorite brushes are in there. I have brushes over here I try not to touch. <laughs> like, my big brushes. Uh, if they're, like, really pigmented shades, I try my hardest not to grab those. Because you don't want to mess up the pretty. Uh, Dark Cosmetics. I will have a video. I don't know if I have the video before this or after this. Of um, my favorites for the year. I'm going in with a fluffy brush and like a packer brush. I want to go in with. I'm going with this shade first. Just to kind of like give it that lay down. It's like a mustard green. Heather has such a beautiful wide eye. She has so much space to do so much with. I'm so jelly. So jelly. I have these creased ass eyeballs with very little canvas and she's just got all that room. Alright, so we got that laid down. I do want to start packing all this shade. I guess I could go over this side with that dark green shade. Look how gorgeous. Look at that. And that's just with one little swipe. Like, what, what? So I'm gonna turn the brush around and just kind of buff out the top of that. I don't know how in the world my TV got so loud. Nobody's legit mess with it, but I guess it's commercials. Look how pretty. I'm gonna go back in with that dark green. So you just kinda bring that back right in that middle. I don't wanna lose that shade. And I'm gonna tap that light green and then tap some of that dark green in there. And just kinda buff that out. Such a pretty shade. So I'm gonna go with this palette right here. See that shade right there? Oh, it's so pretty. Um, I'm gonna go with this brush and I'm gonna tap into that shade. It's like a, it's like a undertone green, but with like a brown almost. It just kind of buff on top of that dark green. Just like so. Look how pretty. So I do want to go in with a fluffier brush. 
I'll go back here with that wish I just showed you. So just kind of break it up. I don't want to go too crazy. This one is like a, it's a fluffy brush, but it's like all different kind of shape, all different kind of like sizes in it. It's like a stipular shader brush so you don't put down too much product too quickly. It's really nice to blend out. Oh yeah. So going in with, I don't think I need to pick up anymore. I'm just gonna use that same brush that I used with that dark green. You just kind of like buff it a little bit because I'm gonna cut this crease, of course. Yeah. So I'm not really like worried about how messy it looks right this second. Tap it in just a tad. I won't get too crazy with it. Because I'm not worried about how low I go. It's more or less how high I go. Because I can clean up the low part. The high part is going to be the hard part to kind of blend out afterwards. Because these are very pigmented. So you see how like it's crazy looking right there? I'm not worried about that. That's going to be gold in a second. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, I might want to use one more shader brush. Uh, go over that mustard look. It's just a tad of that dark green. You just kind of buffing all this out. This is a good buffing brush. This I want to say is from Makeup Institution. But it's nice and rounded at the end. So it just marinates all those colors together. And I want marinated. A pretty look. All right, let's cut this crease, guys. Let's cut this crease. I'm gonna buy my, my makeup remover when I need it. I legit move it like every time. <laughs> See how easy that is. I'll go in with like an angle brush and kind of detour, like de uh, deepen up that line. Just so uh, I have a nice clean edge, just like so. Just like so. Then I'm gonna take this brush right here. And buff it out because I didn't want to put too much pressure with all that product, all that brush. Being it's a more dense brush, it's going to lay down a product like boob. And I don't want to get too carried away too quick. I can always go in and deepen it up. It's hard to take out away once you applied it. One thing I hate doing, one of my pet peeves is going in and have to start all over. <laughs> but I will. But I will. Don't underestimate me. If it gets carried away too quickly, your girl will take it all off. I have tried to come to terms and accept some things. Like if I mess up and just kind of take it with a grain of salt and do something different than what I had in mind. But most of the time, it don't never come out the way I want it. So I'm just like, eh, no. Time to reapply. I've sat here probably about four or five hours to it. I, I looked before. Just saying. Now, y'all do know that I lay down my base first. There is no fallout. Thank goodness. I, I've used Adapt Cosmetics. I didn't expect any fallout. If you have not tried them, I do recommend that you try them. 
they are more pricier. They are indie brand, so keep that in mind. A lot of their cost reflects because of like their shades. They got dual shades, as y'all can see. This shade right here legit comes off yellow, but it's like green. I don't know if y'all can see that. There you go. So that's the shade I will be using. Shade Smith. Did it even apply? Okay, there we go. I don't think I grabbed it on the brush. <laughs> Hold up. Look at that. That's the only bad thing about grabbing a green shade with a green brush. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't think I thought it through when I grabbed the brush. But I am getting limited on my brushes right now because I need to wash them. This would not be a particular brush that I would grab for this, just because of the size. Like, this is a really good brush to apply. Shivers, don't get me wrong, but the size of it doesn't appeal to me. Oh, buddy, it is like crazy. All right. Going in with Smith was a smaller brush, just so I could kind of control it a little bit better. I got the base down. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go all the way out to about right here with it. Then I'm going to take the other side and go over the Austin, which is that beautiful shade right there. And apply it in the inner corner just to give it some light. Hey, my baby, come here. Hello, nappy head, baby. You sleep good? You still sleepy? This kind of works in my favor. It's a two for wood. Oh man. Oh man. It's okay. It's shimmer. Can't ever go wrong with shimmer. Right, uh, I had all my fingertips. So that's why I was like, oh man. Oh man. I knew, I knew what I was going to do. And I still did it. I'm going to bring that green back. The green kind of got lost with that shimmer. There we go. And it kind of got buried. Um, and then I want to take it and kind of go ahead and start deepening up this bottom part too while I have it in hand. I'll probably have to clean up right here just because I have hands full and that was my bad yeah I got like five bucks for 24 of them and I love the texture of them because whenever you're like trying to clean your face and exfoliate they're like the best texture and I've been using my house cloths to wash my face and wouldn't that be nothing wrong? If you got makeup on, you're staying the crap out of your house clothes. That's something I didn't want to do. And unfortunately, I'm already done. So, I uh, went ahead and got some of those. I think we'll go ahead and grab some more for the house. Maybe a little bit better. Different color. Because you have, like, I got the multicolor ones because I don't like white ones with makeup because then it looks really bad. Really quick once you start applying makeup on it. <sighs> this is what we're working with. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna go off and get her back down real quick and then come back and finish the other eye. Go ahead and go on the other side. And we are done, son. So, complete look. 
I did go in using the Milk Cosmetics gel pot liner on the top just to give it a little bit more green accent. And I used my Jeffree Star Cosmetics Money Counter in the waterline. And then for the lashes, I used Wonder Beauty by High Club and the Max Sack. These two are a really good combination. Like, look at those lashes. For top brow, I went in with the Lux B Aesthetic. And then just underneath the eye, I just quickly did. I, I didn't do nothing in particular. I went in with the same palette using these two and then these two right here. So I technically only touched these four shades out of this palette. And then I did grab out of this one, this shade right here to complete this look. But I really do like how it came out. Might not be as grinchy or green as it needs to be, but I think it, it's, it, it proves its point. It's, it's grinchy enough. It's green enough to be a Grinch inspired look. There's so many different types of green. And I really wanted to give this palette a go. So maybe my next one will be more green. I don't know. We'll see. Or maybe, uh, what is it? Lucy Lou inspired look. I was going to try to do his head coming out with a little ball like Christine wanted me to. But y'all, I'm so scared I won't mess it up. And that will be bad. I might have to go in and like try to do the the head first and then do my base afterwards. I don't know. We'll figure that out. I do want to try it. Because I never know if I can't do it if I don't try it. But yeah. Let me know what y'all think of this look. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If you have not tried Adapt Cosmetics, I do recommend you try them. They are more on the pricier point. But guys, they're so worth it. So worth it. And yeah, these are two of my Adapt palettes. I, th I think I got another one. I don't got another one somewhere. But yeah. Go check them out. Really highly recommend this brand. It is Rivers are to die for. Like this one only has two. This one does have a little bit more. Heather's palette does offer four. So you can do a really pretty look with these right here. These right here. And then just mix them up. I think it's so cool how how she came up with the color story of this one. Sorry, my nose always runs when I put a nose ring in. My nose jam in. But I love y'all, and I will see y'all in my next video. Make sure, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn that bell on, and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you lasted this long. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!